here is because the common man has become the last hope of the common man. We went through every single step that was required of us and we got to the end and we were let down as a people. What we have as a leader is a John Doe. Nobody knows who he is. And what really has brought us to BBC is the fact that BBC knows this. BBC knows this is not true. We do not know who this man is. And yet BBC decided to write an article on the 11th of October purporting to support, purporting to claim that um, bulletinable certificate was authenticated by Chicago State University. We know that is a lie. We know Bolatinibu did not go to school. We know we do not have his educational records. We do not even have a record of his entire life. We don't know who his father is. We don't know who his mother is, his, his brother, his sister. We don't know where he comes from. And yet, the West have fawned over this man with BBC actually writing an article to whitewash his, uh, to his, uh, to whitewash his personality, to whitewash his, um, his background. This is not right, because what you have done is to support bad governance in Nigeria by supporting somebody that is not qualified to be there. A person that is not qualified to have a job should not have it. It wouldn't happen here. So why would it happen in Nigeria? This is what we are standing against that an organization like BBC is using its name, its brand, to spread falsehood. This is the impact. I'll tell you the impact. When BBC spreads this falsehood and, and bad governance persists in Nigeria, we start to have mass migration. Mass migration is one of BBC's favorite topics. Yes. Mass migration is one of BBC's favorite topics. The hypocrisy hurts me. The hypocrisy is unbelievable. The hypocrisy is palpable. The BBC writes lies to support bad governance. It is wrong how these people get away with this thing. We have to call them out. BBC is a hypocrite yes. Yes. because BBC supports lies and then it will write about the impact as if those people decided on their own to take to the seas, to take to the desert, to look for a better life. Yes. Why you could have stood by the truth, you could have told the truth BBC and you still have a chance to tell the truth. Take down your article. It is a lie because you're supporting propaganda. Yep. You are supporting propaganda. And we are going to keep calling you out until you take that article down. What you are doing is practically criminal because it is leading to the loss of lives. People are going to be leaving their country in droves. And then you call them economic migrants. When they're fighting for their rights, where do you stand with the oppressors? Why do you get away with it? This is wrong. And we're here to call BBC out for its hypocrisy.